Hi, everyone. Welcome to Soul Talk. I'm Patty Malik, and today we have a special show for you. Uh, Mar- Maria Martinez is back. She was here last week, and we are dedicating this whole show to you for, <clears throat> I have a little frog in my throat, uh, one hour of readings and clearings just for you. Uh, we decided last week um, that we really didn't have enough time uh, to spend with the audience that we wanted to. And so Maria agreed to come back, and um, we're eternally grateful. Um, so if you'd like to work with Maria... You can hit star two on the phone to raise your hand. Uh, you can also type questions into the webcast page if you're on the webcast. And we ask that you have uh, your first name and a location so we can kind of tap into you. Uh, if you're not familiar with M- Maria, she is a human potential activator. She's a wealth consciousness activator, a multi-dimensional healer, a quantum energy alchemist, She's a light language channel and a medical intuitive. And as a clear channel for source divine intelligence, she can help you to remove blocks to having it all and living abundantly and manifesting your unique, extraordinary life. And I want to welcome Maria back to Soul Talk. Thank you so much for being here today, Maria. Welcome back. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, I'm so excited to be with all well, of you today. These are wonderful times. Yes, absolutely. We were we were just talking about that, you know, how we're just really on that threshold of exiting this matrix and entering our new earth. And it's just very exciting times. And I think, you know, I was saying that I'm just so grateful for people like yourself that um, are willing to help our audience, you know, to create the shift to, to really move through that you know, that last layer, you know, that might be holding them back. Um, so thank you. Thank you again for being here. Yes, absolutely. My pleasure. <laughs> I, I love to play in this energy of co-creation, contributing and expanding, you know, from where we are and creating a new reality for ourselves. So it's my pleasure. Well, you are here at the right time. Um, so we're going to start right away and um, I'm going to start with Joy Um, she is in California and um, she said uh, thanks for bringing Maria back as a guest she's one of my favorites so let's see how you can help Joy Um, let me unmute her hello Hello. hi is this Joy? hi Patty yeah hi Joy hi Patty Hi. Hi, Hi, Maria. You came back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, okay, how so, can Maria help uh, you? Yeah, um, I just like to move into my career without all these obstructions, a lot of obstructions, and um, like lo- lack of clarity. Um, yeah. So it's I'm kind of putting in a lot of effort, but I'm not seeing where this is going. So I mm-hmm. just like to embrace it more strongly with much more vision. Yes. So the, the immediate picture that I was show was your actual purpose being underneath everything else that you've been doing. It feels like there's a distraction um, connected to succeeding and, and making money. And um, so when that happens, or when we have a mission and we have a purpose and it's something that we're sort of building up to and we haven't yet kind of brought it into form and really aligned with it. It's hard for us to connect that we can actually live, like that could be a a profession or that could be the way we support ourselves. So what we're getting Mm -hmm. there, we'll look for other things to do in the meantime, like, like, oh, I'll take this part-time job or I'll do this in the meantime but that feels that that's actually what's distracting you um, because it feels Mm -hmm. like you're not trusting yourself you're not trusting yourself uh, that you can actually get there or or that you can actually create from that place from your own you know from your own divine gift so this delay that you're experiencing 
is lack of trust in yourself. So we want to, you know, we want to look at that. We want to clear that um, because it actually happens more than we realize. Um, because we'll say, okay, that's my mission, that's my goal, but in the meantime, I'll do this, and whatever we take on on the side delays us getting there. Uh, so if you look at it from another perspective, and and this is actually really for the whole group, you know, whenever anyone asks a question, is is for everyone. So you know, just be open for whatever lands with you, the audience. Uh, so when we look at our goal and we look at a project, whether it's a business or a new project, if we're not all in in that project, we are doubting. We're doubting, so we're staying safe by not being all in. If we don't fully dedicate ourselves to that project, part of a lot of time, and this is what I'm picking up for you, Joy. There's a little bit of fear of failure. Fear of even fear of success, but the fear of failure is what's kind of the underlying energy around that. And mm-hmm. to avoid that pain of that failure, we become busy or get ourselves busy. We distract ourselves with other things just in case. So I'll work on this just in case, or I'll or I'll dedicate some time here just in case that doesn't work out. So we want to delete and create sort of that confusion that we create for ourselves connected to the fear. We want to get to the fear and we really want to face the fear. The fear is really an old pattern. It's an old pattern that we learned from our parents, from our grandparents, from society, from from the people around us. It, it's a learned program. So instead of um, trying to avoid the fear, we want to really face it because fear is just an illusion. It's something that was created that we bought into and now we made a thing. It's a thing. And then the more we focus on the fear, we make it bigger and bigger and bigger to the point that it can, you know, it can keep us frozen in time and we don't take action, or we could just keep going in circles. So we want to delete and create that fear. So I want you to take a look at that fear that you have and notice that image of it. So what fear, you know, what is this image of fear that you have? And just hold on to it. Just look at it, hold on to it. You don't have to do anything with it yet. Just go ahead and take a deep breath and look at it. Look at this fear that holds you back. The fear has many faces. Fear of failure, fear of success, fear of not getting it, fear of getting there and then failing, fear of judgment, uh, fear of not being enough. So all these faces of fear. So we just kind of throw it all together and just hold it in the same space. This is fear, right? But all of this, if you look at what fear is, is that little part of you inside that says, what if? What if, what if? And then the, the last part of a sentence is filled with these things that we just put in this container. What if you fail? What if you, you, know, you fall flat? What if you work so hard and you invest so much time and effort and you don't get there? What if? So when we go from that place of what if, that's the future that we're creating. We are creators. We are creator beings. Our word creates our reality. What if? So go ahead and take a deep breath. And I want you to come into the awareness, everyone. Come into the awareness. How many times that what if comes into your mind? And now from this point forward, when that what if comes up, you're just going to simply delete and uncreate it. Or you're going to add something else to it. What if this was the best decision I've ever made? What if this leads me to a big opportunity? What if this decision that I make or this step that I take or this opportunity that's in front of me is that door open or is that the universe opening the door for me for my wealth and prosperity? So you want to change what you're adding to that what if. And then you want to embody that. You want to start experiencing the joy of that what if. So now you're transforming fear into joy. Now you're transforming fear into your friend. Also, fear is is really just an indication. It's, it's your, your ego, your psyche telling you, this is an old program that you're running. When fear comes up, you can look at it and say, oh, this is really interesting. What part of me wants healing? What part of me needs healing? What part of me needs to heal? Because it's just an old program. 
that when it played itself out, then you would, you know, it would go into the cycle of uh, things not going your way, uh, people not showing up for you, the resources not being there, you not following through. That's an old program. So when fear shows up, it's just saying, hey, there's still this program right here that you haven't completed. You haven't resolved, it's still playing out in your field. So you can look at what that is, a younger version of you that is afraid of taking on more, that your your younger version of you that doesn't believe in herself. And I'm, these are the, I'm reading the room, but I'm also reading uh, you, Joy. So just, you know, kind of feel into the statements that are coming up. Yeah. And just allow, give to yourself, you know, give to yourself what you need to believe in yourself, trust yourself. And, and it's the little girl. This is the 13 year old for you. This is the 13 year old that says, yeah. I don't believe in myself. I don't know what to do. I don't know how to move forward. This is too much for me. And also she doesn't feel like she has permission. So you want to give her permission to dream big. You want to give her permission. And if you have children, imagine what you would say to your children. Of course you can do this. Of course you can have this. The world is your oyster. You can have whatever you want. You will never limit your children, right? You will never say you cannot, you're not allowed. Uh, consciously, a conscious being, mm -hmm. you know, in your full awareness, you wouldn't limit your children. So talk to yourself, give to yourself what you would give to your children or to somebody that you love. Go ahead and take a deep breath and just give her that. Give her that freedom. Give her that joy. Allow her to open the door. Allow her to dream big. Allow her to live in that place of wonder and joy because the future has not been created. We are creating it with every thought, with every feeling, with every behavior, and then the action that we take from there. It hasn't been created. We are creating our reality in every moment. So if you are aware of that, then you can choose to create from love. You can choose to create from I believe in myself. You can choose to create from I deserve this and so much more. I am worthy of this. I, I deserve this. Go ahead and take a deep breath. So at the image that I saw earlier, um, so what it looked like was boxes on top of you, and then you trying to crawl through those boxes under, trying to follow your path. So those boxes are coming off of you. So the boxes, debris are coming off of you. So it, it doesn't feel difficult. It doesn't feel like you're, you're overwhelmed. Um, go ahead and take one more deep breath. So we just want to clear the path forward for you. So go ahead and bring in your, you know, your heart's desire, your passion, your purpose, what brings you the greatest joy. Go ahead and bring it into your mind's eye. Go ahead and bring it into your heart. And go ahead and connect from your heart to your mind's eye. And go ahead and send it up to source. And then go ahead and drop it from your heart down to your energy center and energy centers down to Mother Earth. And then feel the alignment of this is me. This is my divine unique. This is who I am. I believe in who I am and feel that connection with yourself. Go ahead and take a deep breath. We're going to bring in your spirit into your body as well. And this is another thing that I see also missing the connection with ourself and our self is, is the light within. Go ahead and take a deep breath and just allow your spirit to come in. And as your spirit comes in, go ahead and, and notice the image that you're being shown of your spirit. Sometimes it's just the light. Sometimes it's beautiful goddess. Sometimes it looks like an angelic being. Go ahead and just notice for yourself, what does that look like for you? Because you want to come back to and connect to that image of yourself and you want to honor yourself honor you honor yourself for who you are the gift that you are to the world and take one more deep breath just allow yourself to be the presence of yourself your light your beauty your radiance your brilliance your totality wow just saw an, just sort of like a, an expansion or an explosion of light from you just this beautiful pulse of energy like I'm here I'm awake yes yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> How do you feel, Joy? Oh, lighter. Mm -hmm. Lighter. I'm looking through my like my 
my forehead, like my third eye area. How does that feel? Is this, how does that appear to you? Upright. Uh, I see lots of colors. Um, uh -huh. As if you were looking through a prism. I see the beautiful colors of the prism. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah, I, I just beautiful. felt some energy or I felt like looking up there, just that area just came to my mind. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so lean into trust. Lean into your divine partnership of source. Lean into I am and I deserve this and I was created to be here and live my life fully. Lean into that knowing of yourself. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Beautiful. Oh, gee. Thank you so much, Maria. Thank you. Thank you, Patty. My pleasure. Yes, I'll dwell on trust because I believe that's one of the areas that I um, I needed to focus on. So I definitely will. And you now have some tools to work with the fear. Yeah, sorry. The, for, this is for everyone now. Yeah, so you have the tools to work with fear. When it shows up in the what if and remembering that you're creating your life in every moment. But transform your fear to your friend. If your friend is, is the person that gives you information so that you can make the best decision moving forward. So fear is that. It's giving you information that there is something that you're healing, needing to heal, so that you can take that leap forward with ease. Mm. Thank you. Okay. You know, we learn so much from um, everything that you say. I mean, I think we can all relate um, to some extent with fear, you know, that comes up mm. unexpectedly or unconsciously. Thank you, Joy. Um, okay, we're going to keep going. Let's see. We have um, in New York... Uh, Yvette, last four digits are 1087. Hello? Hello, is this Yvette? You're unmuted. Okay. I hear something, but I don't hear her. All right. Uh, let's see, we have um, Michelle in California. Last four digits are 0332. Hello, ladies. Hi, is it Hi, Michelle? Michelle? Yep. Okay. <laughs> and how can Maria help you today? Well, first of all, Maria, you already have helped me because that last call was, um, caller was so apropos, so thank you. <laughs> oh, great. And um, in addition, um, I'm curious what you can offer about um, me creating basically a life of isolation. Uh, I, I really wish to live in community and um, like I've never had my own family. Um, and as a young child, I had a lot of friends, but um, by high school, I really only had a couple. And now as an adult, as an adult, I have very few friends and even just a few acquaintances. And mm -hmm. I would like to shift that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's interesting. So when you were saying that, I actually saw a couple of your lifetimes where you you so I saw you sitting on top of a mountain like a sage like a yogi um so that was part of your life and this it was very natural for you to be uh, alone and and not necessarily alone because you have the connection to source but you know just to be with yourself and that felt really comfortable uh in those times and you have a couple lifetimes like that where you either went on your own I can see you kind of walking on your own um to, taking a Pilgrim, pilgrim, pilgrimage on your own and just, you know, having that connection with yourself and source and, and nature and Mother Earth. Um, so that's, again, that's part of what you're, this is part of who you are. Um, the other thing I see for you here is that you have this that's a kind of wanting to come through. Um, 
like a teacher, you know, like a teacher that wants to teach that has already been self-actualized in other lifetimes and she's bringing that forward, you know, her wisdom from other lifetimes and she wants to now bring that and share that with others. So I see that kind of at the cusp for you. Um, but in addition to that, um, the, the sort of withdrawing, it feels more that was unconscious, like your vibration, like there was something awakening within you that made it, so let me put it in a different way. When your consciousness is at a different level of other people, it's hard for you to connect and relate to them. So sometimes it's easier just not to be around them. And we do that unconsciously. Like we just kind of find, you know, the people that we can connect with, relate to, and if we don't, then we just kind of, you know, we, we our, our circle gets smaller and smaller. Now, um, now it's not necessarily a bad thing, and it's not necessarily like there is no good or bad around that. It's just where you are, right? It's what you're choosing. So if this, if for you, this feels like this is not, you know, healthy, or this is not what I love, or this is not bringing me joy, then, then from this point, what feels because there is a part of you in your younger years that also felt like she was awakened to. And I don't feel the loneliness because it doesn't feel lonely. It just feels isolation, like to this isolation. We want to bring her out of this isolation. Again, I'm not feeling loneliness, it's just isolation. So it doesn't feel like um, you felt lonely throughout your life. You just feel isolated. And the picture that she's showing me is looking toward the mountain that you're sitting on. So this is the younger version of you, standing by the mountain that you're sitting on and looking up at you. So this is a younger version that's trying to connect to that higher version of you, the higher version that's already self-actualized. Um, she's about 12 years old. Go ahead and take a deep breath. Let's connect to her and let's see if we can help her out of her isolation. Go ahead and take one more deep breath. So in this lifetime, she seeks connection. In this lifetime, she seeks to... So there's a balance with who you were and who you want to be in this world. And that's the balance that she's seeking. I didn't take one more deep breath and see if you can connect to this 12 year old, 12 year old that feels isolated. And we want to offer connection and we want her to see the world. She's also, um, okay. So now she other layers beneath the isolation are, it's hard for her to live in the world. Um, so unconsciously, she's actually conscious, meaning that she's aware, but in her conscious awareness, she doesn't really know who she is at this age. So, but she just feels uncomfortable. And I'm sure many of you can relate, like feeling like you don't fit in, like you're, you're different. This is the way she feels. She feels like she can't fit in. She's different. So in a way, she feels like she has to run away or she wants to run away. And this is the isolation. So we want to invite her to see the world with a different set of eyes. We want her to see the world from a place of, I am safe here in this world. And actually I can kind of see, um, I can pick up other younger versions of you, even down into like your earlier years out of the womb. But kind of notice, seeing the world and seeing like, this is different. This is not really what, what I expected to be, or it doesn't feel safe to be here. So we want to invite her to see the world from a place of, I am safe in my body. I am safe in my environment. I am safe being here. So we want to remind her that she chose to be here. She chose this journey for herself. And part of her lesson is actually to create that balance from the self-actualized versions of herself in other lifetimes that love the isolation and to be with herself in, in her connection with Source. And this version that says, yeah, that's amazing. But now I want to have fun and interact with people. I want to share that knowledge with others. I want to bring that knowledge, bridge that knowledge to the world. So go ahead and invite her to do that, to have the freedom to do that, to create from that place, to see the world as a safe place, from the place of mastery, because she's already a master. And from the place of wisdom, I didn't take one more deep breath. So she turned around. She initially put her hands against the, the side of the, the hill, the mountain. 
kind of hesitating to step out. And now she's stepping out and it, now it looks like she's on the top of the cliff and she's, first she looked down a little bit with hesitation and then she looked out and now she's seeing the world with a sense of wonder. Now she's looking at the world with possibility. So we want to continue to give that to her. I didn't take a deep breath, so continue to give that to her. Allow her to feel safe. Allow her to be in this place where she belongs because we belong wherever we, we are, right? Wherever we are, where we belong. I didn't take one more, one more deep breath. And go ahead and tune into her and see where you want to integrate her. See if you want to integrate her to your body or if you want to connect her to that higher wisdom version of yourself or just directly to source. All of it. <laughs> okay, yeah, go ahead and invite her to do that. Okay. Beautiful. Wonderful. What does that feel for you, Michelle? Um, yeah, she's, um, she's really silly. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I see, I feel her excitement. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Beautiful. About like, yeah, well, what, what can we do? Well, look, what, what are we going to do now? Mm hmm yeah, and continue to just, you know, create that space for her as you move forward, having this relationship with her, um, you know, kind of opening the world for her, for her to just explore and have fun and find her way, you know, without any pressure of having to connect. But if I choose to, if I desire to, yeah, I connect. And she can connect with different people um, where she feels it's a good fit, it's a good match. Or she feels safe. Yeah, and Beautiful. I love this, Maria, because I think, you know, sometimes I hold some judgment for myself. And just the whole way you've gone through this process with me has just been so open-hearted and allowing. And it's, I can see how I've been holding judgment about it. Because it's not mm -hmm. normal. You know, I don't look like the normal person mm -hmm. living a life here on Earth. I am... Mm -hmm. So I think I have had some judgment about, like, well, what's wrong with me? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and continue to do your self-love and self-acceptance and the same thing with her and any other part that are waiting to have and experience the same level of joy that your little one just experienced. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah thank you. Thank and you I, can sure. feel, I can feel the gratitude, too. Thank you so much. Oh, my pleasure. My pleasure. Many blessings. Thank blessings you, Michelle. You. Wow. I, you know, I've just learned so much from the last two callers, Joanne, Michelle. You know, I think a lot of us light workers have felt isolated, you know, a lot of our mm -hmm. lives because we just don't feel like we yeah. fit in. That was a great right. exercise, you know, to be able to tap into that. Wow. Mm -hmm. Ooh, okay. Um, <laughs> Let's see. Sherry is on the webcast. She's in British Columbia. And she said, such a gift you are, Maria. Uh, could you Aww, please look you. into me? Yeah, really, M Maria. It just is a, a real gift um, that you have. Uh, Sherry is saying, could you please look into me and see what is blocking me from letting go of all this grief? It's hard to hold a high vibration when so much sadness is being held. Mm hmm Yeah, okay. So when she said holding on, I felt it all over her abdominal area in a like kind of squeezing her abdominal area in and holding on to it. And part of that feels uh, like it's you know, this is what she knows. This is what you know. This is how you sort of move through life through life survive to this point. And what would happen if you were to let it go? Um, what would that look like for you? If, and so very similar to um, joy about trying something new, you know, is that going to be worse? Or will I find joy in that? 
uh, would life be more joyful? Uh, so I'm just going to have you take a deep breath. And we're just going to bring your attention and your awareness to that area where you're holding it. And you're, this feels like you're from your heart space all the way through down to by your pelvic area in that whole abdominal cavity. And I can feel the pain and I also can feel fire in there that may be affecting your digestive system as well and especially toward the left side of it. Um, uh, so this is also pain that you came in from other lifetimes. So, you know, when we come in with things that are unresolved from other lifetimes, they play out in this lifetime as symptoms or as blockages in our field. So we're just going to invite you. We don't need to dive into the other lifetimes right now, but we're just going to go ahead and bring up the information from the other lifetimes that is still hooked into this lifetime that you didn't complete. So we're going to go ahead and just ask for completion. You know, and hook that, all these cords that you have you have corded to your abdominal area. So these are especially to the left side. Okay, one more deep breath. The sadness and grief has also betrayal connected to it. Betrayal, disappointment, disillusion. And I see a lot of it toward the back of, like the back of the heart space, so the back area lower back of the sacred area. So we're going to go ahead and take another deep breath. Again, we're just acknowledging what is there. And then we're just going to allow everything to come up to the surface so you can bring it out in front of you. And I can feel it wanting to reattach. So this is again, you know, sometimes when we hold on to the grief and the sadness, it has the benefit, it serves the purpose. Either it keeps us from showing up in the world or it keeps us from taking steps forward, shining our light, uh, expressing ourselves. So this feels like this is part of that. This has the secondary benefit to you has been, it's kept you from fully expressing yourself. So there's fear attached to this. So fear of being rejected, fear of not being accepted in the world, fear of um, so the other one is not being important. Sort of you show up and nobody acknowledges you and nobody sees you. That's the other fear. And all of this is collected in this sadness and grief. Again, that comes from other lifetimes. So we're just going to acknowledge all of this with love and compassion, loving kindness, bringing in forgiveness. You can see the cords detaching, detaching from your feet. You know, then I see it as sort of a spinning there all of this energy is spinning, almost like a um, like a little vortex being created. And it's pulling in all of the, these emotions that are being held. Go ahead and take one more deep breath. Holding the space of love and compassion. Holding the space of grace. Holding the space of I am. And I deserve. I deserve joy. I deserve happiness. I deserve to be me, to fully express myself in the world. I deserve to be my full expression. I deserve to shine my light, to express my brilliance in the world. There it goes. I just saw a big sort of, almost like something peeled off of you from that area that we were talking about. I'm going to take one more deep breath. So the front part is already clear, so we're going to send that to source, universe. And we're just looking at the back, which is at some betrayal. I can see some light going through already. So we still have some elements of betrayal, disappointment, dissolution. So this is also connected to your past, especially decisions that you made in the past where it didn't work out for you and you, you know, so I put my hands in quotation, fail, because these are just events, right? Well, how we relate to them is how we relate to them. And you're related to them as I fail. So this sense of failure is judgment on yourself. So it's like you taking a hammer and beating yourself up. So we're going to take all of that, release it to source, and we're going to bring in love, light, and compassion into those areas. We're going to see those parts of you that, you know, related to those events in that way. We're going to express compassion. We're going to give them compassion and loving kindness. We're going to ex extend compassion and loving kindness. 
because they did the best they could. You did the best you could. Go ahead and take one more deep breath. Okay, so just another um, big chunk. This one felt like it was hanging on your shoulder and as it came off, it, there was a clink, almost like it was made out of metal. So now, they, now the front is open and the back is open. Beautiful. Go ahead and take one more deep breath and just allow yourself to be in the space of, I am worthy of having the life of my dreams. I am worthy of fully expressing myself. I am worthy of embracing my brilliance, embodying my brilliance, mastering my brilliance. Go ahead and take one more deep breath and really own that. Beautiful. I still see some uh, hooks from under, like they're coming under the back, um, and they're kind of hooked under the back of your uh, baker area, but those are also coming out. These, again, are connected to old traumas, old, like loss, you know, loss of money, loss of people, um, loss of your power so this is all also coming out it's just like debris now falling off of you beautiful beautiful wonderful very good yeah okay Let us know how you feel yeah sherry if you want to type back in we'll uh watch for your comments um on how you felt about that. Okay. Thank you, Sherry. Um, let's see. We have Maureen. Uh, I think it's New Jersey. Last four digits are 3165. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. Is it? Hi. Hi. Hi, Hi Maureen. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Oh, my God. I'm so excited. This has been amazing. I'm so... Yeah, um, it? Yes. Oh. I've done every exercise and I feel more expansive. So my question at the beginning of the call, I think it's changed. <laughs> mm -hmm. So yes, I, great. <laughs> um, so Maria, I um, anything that's um, any limitation or um, that's in my way of expanding my consciousness even more for being uh, being on the path of loving service and being more in divine alignment and divine and my divine will with the divine to create more self-knowing mm -hmm. more self-actualization um i feel like I, I i i have a taste of it and and it's usually daily but i i work on a lot of people and i want to make sure that i'm um ready and prepared for my next step and so whatever you see that you know this lifetime or past mm -hmm. lifetime that and that's limiting me. I I can feel it's something, but I I'm not aware of what it is. But I feel there's something. So I would appreciate that mm -hmm. if you can um, tap into it. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. So first of all, I want to say thank you for your question because I love when you you know you received and then shifted and you moved up to the next level and asked a question from that place or rephrase your question. So that was beautiful. Uh, so oh, what I saw you. when you were talking. Yeah, what I saw when you were when you were talking, so two things that we want to do for you. One, I actually saw kind of being stuck in a tomb. I saw lots of skeletons around you, so we want to kind of we want to pull your spirit out of there. The second part okay. is the connection with your spirit. Um, very similar to um, I remember it was joy earlier, but the connection with yourself is really important. Um, mm -hmm. honoring yourself and really embracing the light and the magnificence of your light within you. And it feels like you, you, you do have, you know, like sort of throughout the day, you have little bits of experience there, but it doesn't feel like you, you just kind of bliss out in that area. So it feels like this would be really great for you. Uh, also, it also feels like you spend a lot of time in the mind versus going beyond the mind. Um, and that's where these skeletons that are kind of, it almost feel like they're, I don't know, like constraining you. So let's go ahead and release these, remove these from the field first. Go ahead and take one more deep breath.
Yeah, okay. So this is a little bit of witchcraft, black magic here. So one more deep breath. You can invite your spirit to awaken because your spirit is infinite. Your spirit, the light of your spirit cannot be dim unless it's believed or it's manipulated to believe that it's not powerful. So we're going to awaken your spirit to its true self, true potential light, source energy, creation. Okay, one more deep breath. So this is what your spirit said. Really? Really? I can just like leave this place? I don't have to be here? So it was kind of <laughs> waiting. It almost like it was waiting for permission or it was yes. waiting for somebody to say, it's okay, you can come out. Go ahead and take one more deep breath. Go ahead and take one more deep breath. And then your spirit to fully awaken to its true self, fully awaken to its absolute light creation, source, universe, within, divine light. God, God is within. Go ahead and take one more deep breath. It's the extension reflection of source. God, universe, one more deep breath. Oh, it just got really, 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 really big. Really big. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So now we want to invite it to come back to you and make that connection with you. Go ahead and take one more deep breath. And again, see, perceive your spirit as it's standing there before you, as it's now beginning to integrate with you, coming into your body or you're coming into your spirit. And now your crown is wide open. Your connection with mm. source is wide open. And I, there was just a little bit of entanglement there um this this uh where we saw so this felt like this was from this lifetime but what we just cleared was from other lifetimes so there was a little bit of entanglement from other lifetimes connected to this witchcraft but and take one more deep breath yeah i saw a couple shackles around your feet one more deep breath <laughs> beautiful so your practice very similar every morning, every day, throughout the day. See yourself in this image. Connect to yourself. Honor yourself. I honor myself for who I am. I honor myself for the light, my truth. I honor myself for having this relationship with myself, my spirit, my soul, my light, my brilliance. I honor myself for being in alignment, in communion. I'm having this beautiful connection, relationship. I honor myself and I honor the light within. I didn't take one more deep breath. So you are the vessel, the temple of your light and your spirit needs you. It needs you to connect with it as well. I didn't take one more deep breath. Beautiful. Beautiful, how do you feel? Oh my gosh, amazing. I. I saw myself leaving that space where the tomb with the skeletons. And as soon as you gave me the full permission, I, it's like I stepped out of it and I looked back, like it happened really quick. And then I was walking and I saw my higher self and I, I was like at, in the ocean. I saw all the colors of the spectrum and I merged with her. And I, mm -hmm, I, I felt this, this illumination, like I felt everything just, expanded and I felt the light like illuminate like every cell molecule atom of my body my spirit everything and I just kept breathing into that of receiving and open to receiving just the allowance so I feel I feel liberated from that because I, I had a feeling it was something like that and you just mm -hmm. you confirmed that with me so I so appreciate it, it was like oh <gasps> such an epiphany right now i feel like my head and my crown is just so open and i'm 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 gonna repeat those like honoring who i am honoring the light within honoring the light that i the love that i have in my heart that i share every day i, I want to share it more mm -hmm. to express who i am so i can be in my in my soul essence and Beautiful. you know it, so that's yeah so wow 
Beautiful. You've given me such beautiful. a beautiful gift. Oh my God, so miraculous. <laughs> you're, yeah, you're welcome. I just want to add one thing to that. I didn't give you permission. You gave yourself permission. But give oh. yourself permission every day to step okay. into your true potential. This is for okay. everyone. Give yourself permission every day to have, okay. to receive, to be your true potential. Wonderful. Beautiful. Gosh. Thank you. Thank you. I'm so grateful. So many blessings to you and Patty and everyone on the call. I'm mm, just thank oh, you. I'm just filled with now. I feel like my joy is coming back. <laughs> you can feel it. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> oh my gosh. Thank you, Maureen. You know, and listen to the replay because you will pick up on things maybe that you have missed, you know. Um and um, you know, everyone that Maria has worked with. Um, because we're kind of tapped into what Maria's saying and we sometimes we miss things. Um, so you'll get the replay to listen to as well. Um, okay, we're going to keep going. Uh, let's see, we have um, so many callers. Um, let's go to uh, Pensacola. There's no name. Last four digits are 5487. Hello? Hello? Hi, can you hear us? I can. Um, my name is Julie. Hi, Julie. Hi, Julie. Um, thank you so much for taking my question. You're welcome. I have been working for the last couple of years. I spent my whole life trying to create art. That's my whole thing. And the last couple of years, I've been working really hard on my photography and the last couple of months, I just am running out of steam because it's not taking off. I'm not getting people to look at it. I'm not getting into galleries and I'm just starting to wear out. Um, mm -hmm. And a lot of kind of like things will get started and then some kind of wrench gets into the works. And I don't know if mm -hmm. I'm giving myself up or what I could do to mm -hmm. get more in a flow state. Mm hmm Yeah. So, um, you, you said, I don't know if I'm, if I, if I am. So you were going to say if I'm creating this, right? If I'm doing something like this. So you said a couple of things that really stood out. I'm trying. And, and then nothing really pans, uh, like pans out. So when you were talking, I could feel sort of this wall against you. And then, you trying to kind of reach around the wall to get things moving. The wall in front of you is your feelings, feeling defeated, feeling feeling like this is, hasn't gone anywhere. So it's, it's your own disappointment. And so it's the judgment, right? It's the judgment like, you know, why am I not successful yet, yet? Or why isn't this working? So we want to delete and then create. This is, you know, for you, this is where compassion for yourself is going to be really important compassion and loving kindness so that you can just you know see your see as you move forward with joy and you know when it comes to our passion we do it with, because we love it and when we make it into a profession we want to attach the value of that with monetary and abundance and prosperity but we want to see it all as one not as separate okay but often, oftentimes we see our passion separate from money, and that's how you have it set up. Your passion uh -huh. separate from money. Mm -hmm. So we want to delete and create, first of all, the, the feelings of disappointment that you have in your field there, and that's the wall. So go ahead and take a deep breath. So this feels like it, you know, could take a little bit more than the time that we have a lot, but we'll do the best that we can to break down the wall for you. Um, because this is going to be some sort of you, some reflecting with, I forgive myself. I believe in myself, I trust myself, um, I'm doing the best I can, I'm good enough. So this is you feeling into letting that um, little part of you know uh, that you deserve to have this and to fully express yourself in this way. So even as I'm talking to you, I can already see this wall getting smaller and softening mm -hmm. up. Not quite moved, but it's still there. Um, so this is something that you haven't given to yourself, it feels like this compassion and loving kindness. Then take one more deep breath. Let's find that version of you. What age were you? Or what age are you that need, really needs this? Um, the 13 and 14 are coming up. They go into stuff, um, 
the beginning of your 15th year, 15th year. So those ages, and then when I look back to the younger years, uh, the three-year-old, uh, the seven-year-old. So these are the ages that at, at some point, either you know somebody told them that they weren't good enough, somebody told them that you know, that wasn't going to amount to anything, or they, it wasn't going to pay the bills. So this, these are the little ones that are feeling insecure about this, and they're feeling deflated, and they're not quite believing in themselves anymore. So we want to go ahead and take a deep breath. Go ahead and invite them to be here with you now. All of those ages, and if you've picked up at another age, go ahead and invite that age with you now to be here now. First of all, we want to release them of that burden of having to create a business or a sustainable um, passion purpose project that pays the bills. So we want to release them of that per of that burden. I didn't take one minute breath and go ahead and invite them to here be here with you now. And then go ahead and extend to them love and compassion. You want to release all judgment that they have of themselves or that you have projected onto them. I didn't take a deep breath. I forgive you. I forgive myself. Sorry. Please forgive me. I release you. I free you. Go ahead and invite them to be free of this burden. So they came and they lined up on the right side of you. And one by one, beginning with the little ones, they're like, I'm done. And they ran off. And in front of you on the right side, I see a, be a beach. So the little, they, they started to run off to go play on the beach. They're like, okay, we're done with this. This is not fun anymore. We're going to go have some fun. And now they're running off to play on the beach. And I see them playing with shells and with a uh, conch. I didn't take one more deep breath. So now that leaves you, right? I didn't take one more deep breath. So let's go ahead and release all the judgment you have toward yourself. All those feelings of failure, disappointment, not good enough. You hold them a lot in your uh, high heart and throat. Go ahead and just bring your attention to that area. And go ahead and release these feelings of judgment, these feelings of not good enough. And I can see the wall getting smaller. It almost felt like it was in a wall of ice because it's now melting. Uh, and now it kind of looks like a, just a pillar in front of you on the right side. Uh, so you're up against that pillar. Not very wide, you can put your hand around it. I didn't take one more deep breath. But now go ahead and look forward. There's really nothing in your way. I mean, there's this little pillar there, but we're gonna release that. There's nothing in your way now to step forward into enjoying what you do, loving what you do, and getting paid for it. So let's take a, take a look at your abundance and prosperity. Yeah, you still have a big gap in terms of your connection with this is, you know, my value is my worth. My value is my abundance. My gift is my abundance. So let's go ahead and connect all of those. Go ahead and take one more deep breath. So, the, so where you hold all of this is your mouth, throat, power center, and the center of the head. So we want to connect those areas. Go ahead and take one more deep breath. We're going to bring in abundance, prosperity, joy. Go ahead and start bringing in the vision of your life. When the vision of your life, you having it all. Wealth, prosperity, financial freedom. Flexibility. Time. Resources. Overflowing money in your bank account. Resources. Travel. Beautiful home. Whatever that may be for you. Go ahead and bring that in into your mind side. And we're going to create the foundation of your work is the foundation of that. You love your work and your love loves you back. You love painting, you love art, you love creating. And that love of creation brings you back all this wealth, 
all this prosperity, all this abundance. Go ahead and take one more deep breath. So the picture that you're showing me is a house on the beach. I still see your little ones playing out in the water, like on the beach in the sand. And I see you standing on like what it looks like, like a porch, looking out at them and looking at the waves and the ocean. Go ahead and take one more deep breath. Just go ahead and experience what freedom is for you, what joy is for you, with just loving what you do and sharing it with others and being rewarded for it. Because abundance is already within you. It's part of your DNA. It's creation. And you're receiving now your divine right fortune. But it's already part of who you are. As you express yourself, you receive it. You unlock it. It shows up in your field. It knocks on your door. Go ahead and take one more. Beautiful. Yeah, there it goes. So that bar... The last bar pillar just melted. Wonderful. Wow. Money um, is light. I'm just going to give you one more phrase. Money is light. Money is love. Money is passion. Money is purpose. Money is love. Money, prosperity, abundance, joy, or love. This is the love that I give to myself. I give to myself. I give to myself. And I generously give to others, and the universe generously gives to me. I love myself. I love myself. I love myself. Beautiful. Go ahead. Wow, that was so incredibly lovely. Thank you so much. I just notes all over this paper, and I'm sure I will listen again, but just such a beautiful ceremony that just really touched me. Thank you so much. Oh, my pleasure. Wonderful. Thank you, Julie. Wow. You know, every um, person that you've worked with today had, it was um, all very different um, topics that we touched on. And I think that was just really, um, really magnificent. You know, um, we just, we really have a captive audience. People are just really hanging on to this call. So Maria, um, your work is, ex- yeah, your work is extraordinary. And, um, I want you to take a, a few minutes to talk about, you do have a special offer, um, and an opportunity for people to be able to work with you as well, uh, in a private session. So, um, mm-hmm. there's, um, package A, B, and C. You have package A, which is, um, expanding your wealth consciousness to expand your wealth container, um, which includes eight weeks of powerful MP3s that will be emailed to you weekly. Um, and these MP3s will start going out uh, next Thursday. Um, yes. So you want to talk about that a little bit? Yes. Um, and we had an opportunity to kind of see what that looks like when we work with money and prosperity. Um Mm-hmm. in our very last call here. So this is the experience that we want to create. This is the experience. This is the mastery that we want to move into because we are. We we are abundance already. Our divine fortune was ours at creation. It's not something that we have to work toward. And, and now the work is to unlock it. And to unlock it is to reconnect to who we are, to come back mm-hmm. to who we are. And that is the purpose of these mp3s to reconnect to who you are and unlock what's already there available to you to uh, upgrade yourself to be able to access all that it's already available to you so i really invite you these are wonderful i mean this is a wonderful time to take that leap into the next level of you and to unlock what's already yours and to live from that place of mastery to create from that place of mastery Beautiful. And it, and then after, yes, go ahead. I was going to say that special offer for package A is $97. So it's very affordable, um, you know, to be able to, for eight weeks, to be able to um, receive those MP3s. Um, and it's weekly, so it's not overwhelming to listen to. Um, mm-hmm. And then uh, package B uh, includes package A, plus you have four Zoom workshops that you're going to be doing. 
and those workshops start uh, the second week of September, which is coming up because next week is the last week <laughs> of August already. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'll let you talk about those workshops a little bit. Yes. So the workshops are more like this when we're interacting and you're asking your questions. So we have a theme in each of the workshops and there are things that we're clearing. So today we did a lot of inner child we did some integration we looked at some past lives and timelines so we'll be doing that in the first workshop we'll be doing some soul retrieval we did that today as well retrieve our soul give ourselves permission to be a full potential and then we'll we'll also have an opportunity to work with our dna and activate divine consciousness within our dna and again allow that to be the place from where we live as we continue to develop that relationship with ourselves um, so we, we continue to do this work, this sort of this empowerment of, of ourselves, re- releasing the karmic contracts and soul imprints in workshop two, um, aligning our chakras, um, again, to optimize who we are uh, and, and really allow every aspect of ourselves to come into wholeness and completeness. Uh, in package B, we have four workshops. So the third one, we move into taking that leap. So we take that upgrade. We did a little bit of this in with um, the last um, the last reading that we did when we brought in the um, the story. Like, what is the vision of the life that you want to live? So we create that bridge. So we clear, we heal, we move into that upgrade, and then we bring in that new vision of ourselves. And then we, we upgrade our vibration to start living into that new vision of ourselves. We, we practice the mastery because we create from, you know, who we are and what we're embodying. So that's the mastery. We move into embodying those amazing qualities of joy, of awareness, of higher consciousness, of self-actualization, of self-love, of self-acceptance. And then create, we create from that place new possibilities, new timelines. Um, and then the last workshop is to really own that part of ourselves and be the master creator, continue to create from that place of divine power, divine will. So we want to create from our alignment who we are. You know, there's things that we want, there's things that our soul wants, and there are things that are good for humanity, right? That we're here, that we can impact humanity. So we align all those things in who we are and what we're creating. And that, then that's where the universe just really shows up for us because we're in full alignment of our potential and our totality. The universe will show up in so many different ways to support and to give to us, to create that vision that we said, thank you, I'm here to serve. This is the vision of my life that I am desiring. I give that to you, I'll do my part and I'll leave the rest to you. So this is the relationship and the new agreement that we're creating with source, with universe. And now it's, now it's unfolding before our eyes. So I invite you to come in and participate and move into to that mastery of yourself and create from that place. And if you have other things that maybe or not something that we're going to be talk, talking about, or maybe that this is going to be a private time, we have Padded C, which is the one-on-one time. You saw an experience of that, what that would look like. That would be, a, you know, customized to you. And as you can see, you know, when you come into the session, you're, as you're sharing, you're showing me pictures, you know, your soul, your spirit, your higher self is showing me pictures of what we need to do, what we need to, you know, what we need to see so that we can create the most optimal, optimal experience for you, upgrade for you to continue to live your life from that place of mastery and create from mm-hmm. that place the life that you desire. So I really invite you to come in, take that leap for yourself. Give to yourself, choose for yourself. Give to yourself. Thank you. It has been my pleasure, Olive. Mm. Wow. It's really a very um, divinely timed um, special offer, you know, when you look at what, what it includes. So Package C um, uh, includes that session, 25-minute session, private session with Maria. And that package is 247 And then Package B uh, is 147, which is um, package A, and then the workshops. So take advantage of that. Uh, if that's, you're feeling called to that, it really is um, 
beautifully done, Maria, um, the way you pulled that together, that special offer. Thank you so much for oh, exclusively you, for our pleasure. audience. Yeah, thank mm-hmm. you. And um, thank you all for sharing um, your <clears throat> your session work with Maria. It really helped all of us. And we thank you for that. Um, and I thank you all for being here. And I look forward to the next time that we come together. Thank you, Maria. Thank you. My pleasure. Thank you, everyone. Blessings. And sending you all much love and big hugs and many blessings. And with that, we'll say goodbye. Bye, Bye for now.